In this episode my system has been upgraded to 10.6.6 and have the Mac App Store in my dock. What I am going to show you in this episode is how to create a simple web browser in Xcode. The application I am going to create will have the ability to refresh and stop loading the page, enlarge text size, move forward and backwards through pages, printing and of course entering the URL. First open the Xcode software and select the Create a new Xcode project button. Then select Coco application and click Choose. Enter the name of what you would like the browser to be called. I am going to call this browser Apple Eyes Online. Click on the Actions button. This button looks like a bulb with an arrow beside it. Go through the path, add existing frameworks. Scroll down and find the webkit.framework. Select this and hit end. In the Xcode window double click main menu .xib English. The interface builder should now open. Hide Xcode and set out your workspace as shown. If some of the windows are not visible either double click the window button here to get the window or click on tools on the menu bar to get any of the other components. When all these windows are on the screen, minimize the main menu.xib English and extend the blank window with the browser name to the desired size of your browser. Search in the library window for Web View. Drag this into the blank window and resize it but allowing a little gap on the sides and bottom and a larger gap at the top for the toolbar. Next search button in the library window and choose a button style you like. Drag this into the top part and double click it to rename it. Enter the left arrow and change the font by clicking font in the menu bar and then show fonts. Changing the font is optional. Copy and paste the left button and drag it beside the first one. Double click this one and insert a right arrow. Drag another button of the same type on the toolbar and rename it Refresh. Copy and paste this to create another button and call this one Stop Refresh. Drag in another button of the same type. Name this one Print. Drag in another two buttons and put a plus in one and a minus in the other. Next search text field in the library and drag that into the middle. Search label and drag that in also. Name this text size. Now it is time to arrange and resize everything. The arrows should be on the far left size. followed by the refresh and stop refresh a little to the right. Double click into the text field and type HTTP semicolon slash slash. Drag the text field into the middle beside the stop refresh button. The print button goes next and finally the two enlarge buttons at the end. The plus goes above the minus. Place the text size label beside these two buttons. Resize these until everything fits well. Now for the programming. Click on the first button and hold control while dragging to the web view that was added earlier. A box will appear asking what code you would like to use with this button. For the backward button select go back. For the forward button select go forward. The refresh button is reload. The stop refresh is stop loading. For the URL bar you must select take string URL from. The print button code is print. The text size changer codes are make text smaller for the minus and make text larger for the plus. The interface is now complete. You must save this from the file menu and then quit the interface builder. You should now be back at the Xcode window. To finish the web browser off hit the build and run button at the top of the window. Your application should launch and is a fully usable web browser. 
Just like all web browsers simply just enter an address and press enter on your keyboard. These are just a few simple features of web browsers on Xcode. A more complex browser could have things such as bookmarks, preferences, a better design, etc. There are thousands of possibilities so just play around. Please subscribe to my channel and keep posted for more videos.